Well, I'm working on uh, 400 again today. And before I I did do the I I have to recreate some of this because it didn't turn out well in my last it, 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 in the footage I did yesterday. So I'm gonna just recap some of this. And I put the put the wires on wrong for a reason. This is the way the wires were. Okay, this is number one. This is number three. This is number four, and this is number two. Now, there's gearing inside the distributor that turns the distributor the opposite direction. So, it turns clockwise on each end because of the gears in it. And, the, and this should be the number one terminal. This here is number one, right? I don't know if you can see this. I can see it easy in my screen, but for some reason this stupid camera only shows about a quarter of what I see in my screen when I put it on the video, so I hope you see it. That's number one, and that's this wire. This is for number one, okay? So there's something really screwy with that because they, they got the wires on wrong. Like, I at first, at first impression, I thought, uh... I thought th th this is number, uh, this being number one can give, gave me the reasonable conclusion that the distributor was out a half a turn rather than pull the distributor off and, tur and turn it a half a turn to get right. The, uh, they, they just, uh, turned the wires around, but the fact is they got the rotation backwards and the number two and three wires are backwards, so my guess is somebody fooled with this tractor to try and get running before and had no idea what they're doing. Okay, that's just my guess anyways. Now to find out where number one is, cylinder is, there's only one sure way of doing it. Okay, I don't know if you can see it or not, but right here, I don't know how my camera shows, but right where my finger's pointing, that is the timing pointer. And on this, on the pulley, there's a mark where it lines up, and that's either one or, or four top center. Okay, there again. Not sure how well you can see it. There's three marks on the foot on the pulley. I went to the middle one for now. For what I'm doing, it's close enough. We gotta find out uh, where we're at. But I don't know for sure if I'm on number one or three or, or number four top center. So there's only one sure way of finding that out. I just go through the valve cycles to be sure. Geese okay, so is number four exhaust. Where number one exhaust is going, our intake valves open. So now we should be on the compression cycle. Then they should be getting a There, now I'm convinced we're number one top center, based on the valve cycles. Okay, after, uh, after timing it to number one top center according to the valve train, you can find that it is, in fact, where it should be at number one top center. That's where it should be. Yeah, did so, so, so the distributor is correct. It wasn't put together half a turn out, so somebody was just couldn't get the thing to run. And they, uh, they, they just screwed around with the wires and they made it so it really wouldn't run. So put this, uh, put, I'll, uh, put the cap on and put the wires on correct. I also, I put all the wires on correct now, but I also 
Last night and there again, it's gonna have to be off camera now because it didn't record my foot or it didn't. It showed my screen that I had had a good shot on it on what I was doing and I was changing the points and condenser and gapping them properly and all the rest of it. And it uh, and the darn thing cut off three quarters of it, so I can't even use that footage. So, I guess see, uh, see, see that I, off, off camera, I changed the points and condenser and rotor in it and gapped it properly. And of course, I put this coil on, so there's no excuse why this tractor won't run now. I've been putting some gas in stuff.